the day the crayons quit. St. Mary's style. Oh, hello. It's well booked day today. You're in for a spectacular treat. We're going to be looking at the New York best bestseller called The Day the Crayons Quit. You may have seen it before, but you're going to look at it today like you've never seen it before. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Oh, what excitement, what great joy. Letters galore to read and enjoy. I cannot wait to open them all. I'll reply with glee and dance round the hall. Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. Listen, we need to talk because I am feeling exhausted. You're forever having me colouring in fire engines, apples, strawberries, flowers. You even have me working in the holidays. At Christmas, I'm colouring in Santas and then all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favourite crayon for great dragons and wizards hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous colour goes outside of the lines. If you don't start colouring inside the lines soon, I am going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I'm proud of it. I hate playing second fiddle to Mr. Brown Crayon. Why, he's got all the bears, the wild ponies and those little puppies. It's not fair because I only get roast turkey dinners or wheat. And to be honest, which little kid gets excited about colouring in wheat? Your best friend, Beige Crayon. Hi Duncan, Grey Crayon here. You're killing me! Now I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are grey, but that's such a lot of colouring, such a huge animal. And don't even get me started on your hippos, your rhinos, humpback whales. Such big animals, Duncan. Oh, I can't take it anymore. How about baby penguins, tiny rocks, even pebbles? They're great too, you know. How about you try them once in a while? Your very tired friend, Grey Crayon. Dear Duncan, you call with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same colour as a page that you're using me on. White. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know that I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to colour in snow or to fill in the empty spaces between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things that are coloured in by other colours, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair. When you use me to draw in a nice peach ball, then fill in the colours of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black peach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crane, I'm writing for two reasons. One, I'd like to say I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs and frogs. I've no problems with, and would like to congratulate you on a very successful colouring things in green career so far. The second reason I want to write is for my friend Yellow Crane and Orange Crane, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both cranes feel that they should be the colour of the sun. Please settle this soon, because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the colour of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove that I'm the colour of the sun. Last Tuesday, you used me to colour in the sun in your happy farm colouring book. 
In case you've forgotten, on page seven, you can't miss me, I'm shining down brightly on the field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true colour of the sun, yellow crayon. Dear Duncan, I can see that yellow crayon has already been to speak to you, the big white mare. Well, you can tell that tattletale that I am the real colour of the sun. And you can tell him that because we are no longer speaking. You know how I know that I am the real colour of the sun? Because you used me to call it in a day at the zoo and meet the zookeeper in your colouring booth, the zoo. So, I know that I am the real colour of the sun. Aren't you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real colour of the sun, orange crayon. Hey Duncan, it's Blue Crayon here. I have really enjoyed being your favourite crayon this past year. And the year before, and also the year before that. I've really enjoyed all the oceans, the lakes and the rivers, the raindrops and rain clouds and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby. I can't even see past the railings in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very short and stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in this past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's colour, isn't it? Well, speaking of which, please can you say thank you to your sister for using me to colour in all of the pretty princess castles. She did a fabulous job of staying really neatly in the lines. Now, back to you. Could you please use me just from time to time? Or just the occasional dinosaur? A nice big dinosaur would be lovely. Or a monster, or even a cowboy. Goodness knows, they could use a splash of colour every now and again. Your really unused friend, Pink Crayon. Psst, psst. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off all my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave this crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Bye Duncan, your friend Peach Crayon. I'm so disappointed and gloomy and sad. The letters I read were all jealous and mad. I've an idea to make all colours calm and take things in their stride. Make them jump with happiness and dance around with pride. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to colour and of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good word sticker for colouring and a gold star for creativity. This marvellous picture is full of colour and zest. You've really worked hard and your drawing is the best. You've earned a good work sticker for your completed work today. So you may put in your coat and enjoy your play. Wow, wasn't that fantastic? All the St. Mary's staff are some beautiful crayons. But let's not forget the main and most important message. Without all the colours, the world would be a very dull place. The day the crayons quit. St. Mary's style!